Hello everyone, welcome to my Soap's official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thursday, October 12, 2023. Today on The Bold and the Beautiful, RJ informs Luna she's not going away, Deacon and Sheila strike an arrangement, and Hope tells Brooke her father's devastating news. In the main office, Ridge tells Brooke he's convinced that he's going to win the design competition, but he sometimes wishes he weren't. He doesn't want to undermine RJ's confidence. His son should be working alongside him. It would save him from what's to come. In the design office, Luna is delighted that RJ wants her to stay, but it can't happen. It's better for everyone if she leaves. RJ coaxes her to tell him what's going on. Open up to me. At Deacon's apartment, he tells Sheila that he feels like he just pulled the pin on a hand grenade. They agree to keep the engagement under wraps a while longer. Sheila's still confident this will bring them all together as one big happy family. Deacon's unconvinced but smiles at her being a glass-half-full kinda gal. Sheila ruminates that you have to be working for something otherwise what's the point. She's never been accused of giving up without a fight. Sheila expresses how glad she is, she has Deacon and the children. Deacon wonders whether she genuinely thinks their love can be the glue that keeps them all together. Reluctance acceptance could be the best they can expect. Sheila chides him for doubting her and they kiss. She brightens, now that's my daddy. At the cliff home, Hope thanks Finn for making her go visit her dad. I cannot believe this. My dad is in love with a true psychopath. I just don't comprehend what he could possibly find in her. I mean he is harming everybody by doing this. She thinks she can't allow him go through with this. I can't let him do this. Finn apologizes for not giving Hope a heads up. He just believed it was something she should hear directly from her dad. He didn't want to drop that bomb on her. Hope assures him it's all right. Her dad knew how she would react. She's just not sure whether to be annoyed with him or afraid for him. Finn thinks they're both still in shock. He's not sure he'll ever be able to wrap his head around their parents being in love. Hope scoffs at her father thinking his love has miraculously changed Sheila somehow. Finn replies, no one could change Sheila. I have the scars to prove it. Hope chooses to tell her mom. She'll know what to do. At Forrester, Brooke tells Ridge they can't dull RJ or he'll be eaten alive. He knows she's true. Every designer has to pursue his own route. He's very thrilled that his son is designing. Brooke thinks that what he needs right now is to work with his granddad and not his father. Ridge just wants him to know he's loved and supported. Brooke answers, of course. A kiss. In the design office, Luna informs RJ she has been keeping something from him. He takes her to the sofa to sit down. Luna lets him know these past few weeks have been the best of her life. RJ wonders why she wants to leave. Luna reveals that her mom didn't know that she was interviewing for the job in LA she wouldn't have wanted her to put herself in a horrible situation. RJ doesn't understand how her working there could be awful. Luna explains that there's someone in her family who wouldn't want her to be there, who wouldn't approve. My aunt. RJ asks if she works at Forrester. Luna answers, no. Your sister's mother-in-law, that's my aunt Lai. She's the reason why I wrote the letter of resignation. She doesn't want me here. Cuddling in the apartment, Deacon and Sheila resolve to keep their engagement discreet. Sheila worries it might shock Finn out. Deacon adds, and the rest of Lay Sheila recaps that they'll keep their fantastic news for another day. Deacon exhales and nods. Sheila purrs that she's loving this extremely quiet moment. It's only a matter of time before Brooke comes knocking on that door. At the cliff home, Finn warns Hope that she shares her mother Deacon's news, all hell will break loose. Hope wants to keep her dad out of harm's path and her mom has a way of reaching through to him. Maybe she can put a stop to this insanity before it gets too far. In the design office, Luna informs RJ that Lai saw her there and was enraged. RJ can't understand why she doesn't want Luna to work there. Why wouldn't she be happy for her? Luna reveals that Lai is highly protective of Finn and sees Forrester as a home for him and RJ's family, not for me and my mom. She elaborates that Lai and her mother have a strained connection. Lai has always been rough on her, and they're quite different individuals. Luna explains that the phone call that distressed her was her mom advising her to leave Forrester before Aunt Lai found out. RJ feels horrible that she's been dealing with this alone. 
Lumen doesn't want to make any issue and believes it's best she just departs. In the main office, Brooke tells Ridge she's excited for the fashion showdown. He teases, even though you know I'm going to win. Suddenly, Hope blasts into the room and claims she's still in shock. She explains that Finn sent her to see her dad, and it turns out her father is seeing someone and is in love. Brooke didn't even knew he was dating and says, Have you seen her? Hope says she was at the flat. She can't believe these words are even about to come out of her mouth. But the woman that dad is involved with is Sheila Carter. Brooke's eyes leap out of her head and her jaw drops. In the design office, Luna apologizes for not telling RJ that she was connected to Lai. RJ doesn't think any less of her for that. He feels horrible she's going through this on her own. RJ can't understand why Lai is so critical of her working there. That's just oppressive. Luna tells him he doesn't understand. Lai will not be pleased if she stays there. RJ responds that Lai doesn't get a say. Luna can make choices for herself. RJ understands they're just beginning to know each other, but he doesn't want this to end. I don't care what Lai says, you're not leaving Forrester, you hear me? Luna nods, and they kiss. Next on The Bold and the Beautiful, Ridge gets clean with Brooke, and Ridge and Brooke confront Deacon. The Bold and the Beautiful spoilers warn that Sheila Carter could create some significant waves if she disrupts the forthcoming fashion competition. Eric Forrester and Ridge Forrester are set to fight head-to-head -head in a coucher duel, but Sheila could draw some attention if she slips in the event. Of course, Sheila might have a solid reason to do that given Hope Logan will presumably be in attendance. It can be a case where Sheila seeks Hope out at the worst possible time and tries to get Deacon Sharp's daughter on board with their romance. It's even possible Sheila will have her eye on a garment that she wants to use as her wedding dress or something along those lines. Sheila can never seem to help herself when it comes to generating controversy. Regardless, it makes sense for the writers to find some cause to make Sheila a fashion show crasher. That's because Lauren Fenmore Baldwin is poised to cross over from the young and the restless along with Esther Valentine. Sheila was literally Lauren's worst nightmare once upon a time, so this is B and B and Y and R's chance to put these adversaries back together for an epic face-off. Many soap fans have been screaming for this long-awaited reunion and the battle that it ultimately lead to. Lauren will attend the fashion competition during the five-part event that starts October 25, so there will be an opportunity for her to come face-to-face -face with Sheila after all this time. Even if it doesn't happen during the actual event, maybe Lauren could at least run into Sheila at El Jardino while she's in Los Angeles. Whatever the case, it'd be a mistake for Y and R and B and B to pass up this opportunity. If they're going to the bother of bringing Lauren back for a crossover, they might as well let her reconcile with Sheila and rip into her old foe. The bold and the beautiful spoilers suggest big shockers and shakeups are ahead, so stay tuned for updates on all the newest crossover news and any significant narrative twists. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.